Hi, I'm Craig Bullerjack, and today we make a stop in Santaquin, where we're at the Water Reclamation Facility, and I'm going to introduce you to two blue-collar heroes and make sure that your irrigation water is safe and clean. Let me take you inside for a little tour. <laughs> Santaquin City uh, today, and this is Jason Calloway at the city's uh, water reclamation plant. This place is amazing. I know you have a lot of help, but you kind of uh, are kind of the brains. You, you've taught me a lot today. Walk me through how this process works. It's, it's amazing. This process is a, a newer process. It's an MBR, and basically we take water, wastewater, out from the city through pipes that collect it and bring it into this plant, and then we. We run it through different processes. We run it through screens and we run it into a bioreactor that actually treats the water. And then we, we filter it through uh, our filters, which take the clean water. And then once it's cleaned, we run it through an ultraviolet disinfection process and then into some reclaim pumps. And then we send it up the hill and store it in uh, some irrigation ponds that hold about 170 million gallons of water. That, that's the beauty of this because back in time this water would have been just dumped and wasted away but you've reclaimed it and now people can reuse that wastewater and use it in the irrigation areas that that are in much need here in the Santa Quin area yes yeah we we produce about two, over 200 million gallons of water a year and we pump that right into the city's pressurized irrigation system and people use that in the summer months to water their lawns flowers Amazing. any outside watering that, that is amazing. I mean, that does that make you feel good that in the world we live in, especially in this valley, the way it's growing, to save water, we're in a high desert climate. So that that's very important to bring back what we can use again. Oh yeah, Utah's the second driest state in the nation. Anything that we can do to reclaim our water and, and reuse our resources is going to help everybody. It's going to sustain the growth that is coming to south end of Utah County. It's an amazing process. We walk through here, and whoever built this is on that genius level, in my in my opinion. But you're you're always kind of uh, on alert because there's so many different s sections that you have to keep an eye on. Talk talk to me about that. Yeah, the the plant's pretty complex. Uh, we have operators that are down here all the time. They spend you know a few hours a day doing the doing different things, and then we monitor the plant remotely. Yeah and the alarms come in through our phones. We had a couple of alarms go off, yeah. by the way, while we were walking <laughs> through, yeah. And, you know, we'll have to come down in the middle of the night or whatever, take care of things. But a lot, of, a lot of times we can take care of it right with our phone. We can shut valves on and off. There's a lot of, a lot of automation that goes into a plant like this. You know, you showed me something fascinating, bacteria that eats the waste. And I don't know if people understand how that works, but again, I use the word fascinating because it, it really is on how the whole system works. Dirty water becomes clean water because of a bacteria. Yeah, that's that's probably our main job down here is keeping that biomass happy. That <laughs> <laughs> keeping those keeping They're that, happy out yeah, there. Yeah, that. and we do that by, you know, introducing air and you know, we have blowers and mixers and and uh, we and we keep a good eye on that. These op the operators down here are always running tests and to help with our process and keep a good eye on different things. You know, I, also I think that the people need to know that this plant was built, but also was built with a great idea of the future. And so, knowing the growth in the valley uh, in the Santa Quin area, 
this this plant is is going to be able to handle the growth that's to come. Yeah, yeah, we'll be able to handle the growth for the next, you know, 10 to 15, maybe 20 years, depending on how fast it is. And they put a lot of thought into it. They put extra concrete in the ground. We have extra tanks. And just recently, we uh, did an upgrade. We added more filters to our facility, and, and the tank was already there. We just had to drop the filters in it and run some pipes and another pump, and away we went, you know, so, and which was good. And we didn't have to go back and ask the residents for more money for that either, because the new growth coming into the city, the impact fees that are charged when a new building permit is taken out was able to pay for that. You know, you, you said you don't do this alone, and I met Greg and others, and tell me the workforce that's behind all this, and the, hopefully people who see this understand this is a big job. Yeah, we have probably, what, 10 full-time guys that work for us, and we take care of a, a treatment plant, water reclamation facility, we have a water system, we have, you know, 62 miles of roads that we plow in the wintertime. And, you uh, told me that too. You also, you go out in the middle of the winter and plow 62 miles yeah, of road. Yeah, we're a small enough city that we all have to kind of pitch in and do, that we wear a bunch of different hats. Let's just put it that way. So <laughs> in the summer, springtime, we're working in the parks and, and uh, working in our water distribution system, taking care of the, the water lines and then the collection system that brings the, the wastewater into the plant. I'd say what, for me to you and the rest of the people uh, that take advantage of clean water in this valley and in Santa Quin, uh, we do thank you. This yeah. is uh, Jason Calloway uh, and his crew, by the way, they are blue collar heroes.